So I figured I'd do a quick video today. Uh, I'm just going to show you how to back up your iPhone to iTunes. Um, this way, if your phone ever gets destroyed or something, um, you have a backup to restore to your uh, new phone that you get. So all you need to do is first you want to go ahead and open up iTunes, which I already have done here for you. Like DJ Cow there. Yeah, whatever. Uh, and then you plug in your USB from your iPhone into the computer. And the other end, obviously, and the iPhone. Um, sometimes it may actually ask for a, as you can hear the noise, uh, that's the phone being recognized by my computer. But sometimes it may ask for a uh, verification. All you got to do is unlock your iPhone and it'll say, do you want to trust this computer? And then you would say yes. Um, you're not always going to have to do that, but sometimes you will. I don't want to update at this moment. Um, and as you can see, a little icon popped up here. Um, that's your phone there. Now after you click that, inside your phone there's a few different options you can choose. Um, you can choose to back up to your iCloud. You can choose to back up to your computer, and that's the one I'm going to be doing today. Um, and you can also encrypt your backup here. So this will allow to save account passwords, health, and home kit data to be backed up. Um, I'm not going to do that. Uh, it would be a good idea for someone if they're worried about someone actually hacking their backup because it is actually possible to hack someone's iPhone backup. Um, and you could see the information that was on their phone when they backed it up. Messages, call logs, um, even notes. Uh, so if you're worried about something like that, you'd want to click the encrypt here and then set a password. But I'm not going to do that today. I'm just going to back it up to my computer. And it's going to take a few minutes, but once you do that, it's backed up in a, a secure location on your computer. Uh, maybe I'll make another video and show you where to find that uh, location. But for today, this is all you really need to see. And once you do this, it's backed up. Now, if you ever run into an issue in the future and you need to restore it, you would just come to iTunes, plug in a new phone, because say your, your phone got destroyed, um, and click Restore Backup. Um, and then it'll give you a list of different ones that'll probably classify by date and whatnot, but I'm not going to open that right now. So uh, that's how you do it. Make sure you do this, I'd say maybe monthly at least. Uh, that way you don't lose any information if something happens. So.